Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and here we are again, once again, here, here we, we are, are again, again once again, again, for another AMD Adrenaline Driver review, in this case the 24.4.1 and as I say in all my videos, 24 is the year 2024, 4 is the month April and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of April. I can tell you right... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still laughing at what I did before. I can tell it right away that these drivers bring some really interesting FPS boosts, for example, for Helldivers 2, one of the most played games currently, and we do have some very, very good performance boosts, some performance uplifts for cards like the 6950 XT, 7900 XT, and even the lower tier cards have a very nice performance boost in Helldivers 2, but there's a lot more. And don't worry, because we'll get there right after today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Maximum Settings, a cloud-based gaming service where you won't need to spend thousands of dollars to upgrade your PC or a personal nuclear plant to boot up your system. Just do it! For as low as 9.95 Canadian dollars a month, you can play the most recent games on your computer even if your hardware isn't prepared. And now with increased performance and reduced latency thanks to the bare metal technology. And believe me, I tested it and it runs very well. Sign up today for your full Linux gaming PC with no resource sharing and start enjoying high-level gaming on any PC. So as I told you, these drivers bring some FPS boosts and lots, lots of fixed issues. So as usual, let's start with the release notes. Firstly, we have new feature highlights with new game support for Manor Lords, expanded Hypertoon support for Nightingale and Skull and Bones, and if you don't know what Hypertoon games are, they are basically um, games with profiles for HyperRx, basically games that if they have FSR in the game, uh, the HyperRx will, for example, automatically use FSR instead of RSR in the settings menu and so on. Once again, HyperRx profiles, specific profiles for games. And now we have Nightingale and Skull and Bones as well. And then we have expanded Vulcan extension support for VK, KHR shader maximal reconvergence. And then we have the dynamic rendering local read, which we can see in the click here for more information. Basically, you click there and you have all the information you need about these Vulcan extensions. As for the fixed issues, we start with performance improvements for Helldivers 2. And like I told you, the performance improvements are actually very, very noticeable. Believe me, you'll see soon. Intermittent application crash may be observed while playing Lords of the Fallen and entering certain areas on the Raiden RX 6000 series graphics products. Artifacts may appear in certain mud environments when playing SnowRunner on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6800. Rainbow-like artifacts may appear in water environments while playing Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition on Raiden RX 6000 graphics products. So once again, we have lots of fixed issues for the Raiden RX 6000. It seems that the 6000 series actually have more issues than the 7000 series, at least on newer games, of course, not overall, obviously. Intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Overwatch 2 with Raiden Boost enabled on Raiden RX 6000 and above series graphics products, once again fixed. Then we have intermittent application freeze when first launching Steam VR using the Quest Link feature on MetaQuest 2, another fixed issue which is great. Intermittent system or application crash when screen sharing using Microsoft Teams, another annoying issue that was fixed, and intermittent application crash changing anti-aliasing settings while playing Enshrouded on Raiden 7000 series graphics products. So if you play Enshrouded, this is actually a great thing for you, let's say. And the last fixed issue is display colors may appear dim or washed out after closing in shrouded with auto HDR enabled. And this is not actually just for the, the auto HDR, but for now, since not everything is cotton candy and unicorns, let's go to the known issues. Firstly, we have Black Corruption may be observed while playing Alien Isolation on Raiden 7000 series graphics products. Okay, Corruption may be observed while playing Dying Light 2 Stay Human Reloaded Edition or Alan Wake 2 with Radeon Boost enabled. Users experiencing this issue are recommended to disable Radeon Boost as a temporary workaround. But anyway, I, I don't really understand who still uses Radeon Boost. I believe that uh, AMD should be focusing less on Radeon Boost and more on upscaling and frame generation, but that's just my, my thing. Max Payne 1 and 2 may fail to launch on RDNA 3 series graphics products when anti-aliasing is enabled. And that's, that's so, so damn annoying. 
Textures flickering may be observed while playing Hitman contracts, resolution targeted for the 24.5.1 drivers. Really, I really like when AMD actually tells us when they are targeting the resolution too, uh, when we, in which drivers I mean, and in this case 24.5.1, which is great. Another known issue is intermittent stutter immediately after all tab with performance metrics overlay enabled, resolution targeted for the 24.5.1 drivers. And this is actually one of the issues that I never had, actually I never had because I don't use the performance overlay of the AMD software, but some people did say they have those issues. I use MS Afterburner, so that's a non-issue for me, but AMD acknowledges that now and are aiming to fix it as soon as possible. And the last known issue is the well-known audio and video may intermittently become out of sync while recording using AV1 codec in AMD Software Adrenaline Edition and once again the resolution is targeted for the quarter 3 and it is one of the annoying ones for some people but I mean you can just use AGVC or the H265 it is not as good as AV1 implementation but still works pretty well I use it on a daily basis so I can tell. And as usual on the previous drivers, if you're using a Polaris or Vega card, so Vega 56, Vega 64, or an RX 400 and 500 series cards, like the 580 or 480, well, then you have a specific driver for those cards that won't have such, uh, such known issues and such fixed issues. Basically, they are kind of different drivers where they just polish uh, one thing that here and there uh, and are basically different drivers. But overall, overall for any RDNA card, 5000, 6000 and 7000 series, these are the fixed issues and the known issues. And now as for the goods and the bads that I found with these drivers, the 24.4.1. And the first thing is immediately the performance increase in Helldivers 2. Performance increase at least on the 6000 and 7000 series cards that I tested. And before going to the other things, let's just watch the performance of Helldivers before and now with the 24.4.1 drivers. something. And as you saw, the scenes are quite different and I know that, but I, I'm really a noob on, on Helldivers 2 and I don't play the game that much, so I don't really know, I didn't know how to properly test in the same exact scenarios. I tried, I picked the same the same spot and so on but i ended up on a different scenario but from what i've tested on the drivers even different scenarios were around the same performance both on the 7900 xt and the 6950 xt and as you can see even on different scenarios the performance increase is just massive is just massive and even if you say well but the scenarios are different um so the performance might differ yes it might but on the other hand i recorded this small part on the ship and as you can see, the performance increase is also there. We went around 20 FPS above what we had, and it is on a close scenario like the ship. And in some scenarios when fighting the monsters and so on, uh, you actually have a bigger FPS increase. And of course, it depends on the card as well, but usually the FPS increase is bigger. And even on this scenario, on the ship, once again, we went from 120 FPS more or less to 140. So the difference and the performance increase is definitely there. As for the other things that I found, well, as for Helldivers, we did have a bit more stutters, 
So compared to the 23 to the 24.3.1 when entering the area of the basically when going to the capsule and then going to the planet um, you have more stutters, basically things are loading more there, but after that it is silky smooth and we do have more FPS. And the other good thing is that we do have lots, lots of fixed issues and for people that were having annoying issues, um, some of them were fixed on these drivers and they, well, they can rejoice now. But I did found some things that I didn't like. For example, the HDR bug that I had on the previous drivers, the 24.3.1 is still here. When I turn off the, the monitor and then I turn it on again, well, I get washed out colors when going to the browser or even playing games. It's like I have HDR enabled, but then it goes in and out, it goes off and on, and it's just a complete mess. Uh, I need to go to the Windows settings, enable HDR manually and then disable it again in order to make this stop. But don't worry because I sent a video of this same issue to AMD in particular in private, let's say that. And they said that of course they wouldn't be able to fix the issue for these drivers, the 24.4.1 because I just sent them the video yesterday. But they would fix it for the next driver version and that's great. So they are working on it already. And the other bad thing that I found was that with the 6950 XT, I actually had a software bug with Helldivers 2. I could record, but when I was playing, I wasn't able to open the AMD software when the game was running. It was just impossible, the software just wouldn't open. Even if I had the game running on the background and I just went there and killed the AMD software process, rebooted the, the software once again, the software would load, but as soon as I went into the game once again and tried to open the, the MD software after loading it again, it just wouldn't load anymore. And I believe this happens sometimes in some games in the, in the previous drivers with different cards. So that is a thing that AMD may want to look into as it happened before and it is now currently happening with these drivers 6950XT and Helldivers. The software just won't open if Helldivers 2 is running on the background. It is what it is, I guess. But yeah guys, overall I really like these drivers, I've been testing them for like two days because gladly I had early access, yes, woohoo, I had early access and AMD actually sent me the driver almost two days ago and I've been testing them um, extensively in order to see what I could find about them. I actually thought that Radiant Anti-Lag was, was coming on these drivers since they took so much time, but I... Sorry, but I guess they were actually fixing fixing more important issues that were happening and they were fixing those. But I can't really say because they, they don't they don't tell me, of course, otherwise they might get fired. But I sense from what they told me that Radiant anti Light Plus is well, it will come very soon, but but we don't know the exact date. I don't know at least. But what I mean is that things are getting better. I am finally able to get the the drivers before they release, even if one day or two, it gives me time to make the tests before and then in the day, as soon as the driver comes out, for example, now it came out like one hour ago and I'm recording the video, then I will be doing the editing and then we'll release the video in some hours. But still, it gives me a lot of time to, to manage my own things, which is great and I need to thank AMD for that. So once again, thank you AMD and thank you to all of you that's, that always watch these videos and want more and more and more and leave your comments in the comment section that's that's really guys all i have to say and all i have and all i want to say is thank you very much for all these years of support and well guys that's all for this video thank you very much once again for watching leave your comment in the comment section let me know let me and us the community know what you think about these drivers and especially what is your experience with these drivers if they're working better for you or worse because in my, in my experience, the 24.3.1 drivers were actually very good to me, but some people did have some nasty issues with some older games like Fallout 4, uh, didn't, didn't even running, didn't even booting. If you're having issues, go to the AMD bug report tool and report your issue so AMD can fix the issue as soon as possible. And by the way, check the previous video that I did about, um, about the comparison of the 5700X 3D, 5800X 3D and 7800X 3D because I believe that the comparison is quite nice. Thanks once again for the third time and see you in the next video, guys. A lot of supplies here. 
I guess they plan to stay a while. Register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. 